warning. This podcast is for mature audiences only. If you are under 18, please leave now. That goes for you as well, Karen. We are not professionals, so don't take our advice for shit. So just sit back and enjoy our kinky adventures. And welcome back, you kinky fuckers, to Bang Bang Pineapple Gang. That's right, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang, your sexy swinger podcast coming in your ears via podcast land, whether it be Apple Podcasts, whether it be Spotify, be Stitcher Radio, iHeart Radio, all those. Also, you can also find us on FullSwapRadio.com. FullSwapRadio.com. I'm your host. My name is Jay. And I am the sexy V. Yeah, the sexy V over there. Yeah. And oh, my goodness. Happy New Year's to everybody. Happy New Year's. It is officially 2022 now. Yep, it's going to be weird writing the date now. Yeah. Um, remember to change that two at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Uh, and, and we brought in the new year with a bang. Yeah, we did. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> nice way to start off the year. Yeah. So uh, that will be our sexy story of the week. Yeah. Talking about our shenanigans that we had last night yeah, or early morning. Swap. Yeah, it was like, fuck. We got home at like 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it was like 3.30. Yeah, it was a late night for sure. I mean, it was New Year's, of course. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so know. we will talk about that sexy story because we had a successful full swap, which was awesome. Yeah, was definitely. Hot. Pretty hot. Pretty hot. Mm-hmm. So uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, we have a new story of uh, percentages of people having more sex during the holiday season. Okay. And where they're having the sex. Oh. Yeah. So we'll talk about that in the new story of the week. Uh, we do have our DM slides. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I got a little, I got a DM slide this week that we're going to talk a little bit more in this like opening segment. Mm-hmm. Um, not more so into the DM part because uh, yeah, I. it was just a weird one for me. Okay. Uh, but first, uh, let's hit back on Full Swap Radio. What is Full Swap Radio? Yeah, so FullSwapRadio.com is a radio station that you can listen to sex-friendly, sex-positive podcasts, whether it be about swinging or, um, you know, just sexy stories, polygamy, all kinds of stuff. Yep. So, um, yeah, it's really interesting because you can just go and listen and find new uh, podcasts that maybe you wouldn't maybe normally come across. So. Um, they do play our shows Monday, 8 a.m. and Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Time. Yep. So you can check them out there. And I did see a post uh, from Cole that they're adding more shows. Awesome. So uh, starting off 2022 with uh, even more fun stuff on there. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, there's there's a lot of time slots out there that are getting filled. That's great. Yeah. It's been a great thing for my commute Yeah. because I've been able to listen to a lot of New podcast that, like I said, you normally wouldn't come across for yeah. whatever reason. Yeah, because so. you, you drive a total of like four hours to and from, basically? Pretty much. Damn. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, it's it wasn't too bad once, you know, with all the COVID stuff, everybody not working. Mm-hmm. It was really nice because I could get to work in like an hour and a half. Yeah. So now it's it creeps yeah, back, back up, up to close to two hours. So it, it really depends on, yeah. you know, traffic, but it is all, I'd say 95% of the driving is a uh, highway. So it's a lot different than what I was driving when I actually lived in the city. Yeah. So, yeah. So you get a lot of time listening I to, do. to I have full a lot of swap time. radio. Yeah. Uh, like we said, go to full swap radio.com or also check them out on Android. They have an app. Yeah. They have an a- uh, app on Android and I know they're working on one for, for uh, us. Awesome iPhone users. iPhone users. <laughs> I am the iPhone person, and you yeah, are the Android. Yeah, I am an Android, and uh, I'm proud of it. Yeah, a uh, little bit country, a little bit rock and roll. Is that how it goes? Or a little bit of rock and roll, a little bit of EDM. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I wouldn't even call it EDM because, like, that's a little more new. You know oh. what I mean? Like, I was into it before EDM came. Like okay. the term EDM okay. came around. Okay. Okay. Techno. Uh, techno. That's what I prefer. Okay. <laughs> but but isn't it in an Eminem song, he says, 
Uh, no one listens to techno. Uh-huh. Uh huh. When he's talking about Moby. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I I dig it. Not a and I get it. Not many people like it because it's just repetitive. But. So did you listen though? Is Moby no. techno? No. Okay. Well, he's electronic. He he's electronic music. Okay. I wouldn't consider him techno. He's more like mainstream. Uh, you know, that's not really my no. my butter. What <laughs> and, I would. And call ladies it. and gentlemen, that's what you get on this podcast. We just. You know, Talk about whatever. We, yeah, we really don't. We just have like a rough plan of what this podcast <laughs> is going to be, and sometimes it's just conversation just veers off. Uh, but yeah, you can also find us on Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, you can. Bang bang, pineapple gang pod. Yeah, go out there and see our awesome TikToks and our sexy Instagram pics, and uh, we do have a link tree out there that will take you to our Discord. Yeah, that we share with other uh, swing talkers. Yes. Uh, you can go there, and uh, we think we're almost to six thousand one hundred something. Okay, people on there now. That's pretty impressive. It's fucking incredible. That's, yeah, that's a lot of people. Uh, yeah, you can into go there. swinging, you know, like into yeah. a certain lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. Um, all these people on there are there to have like. Likewise, you know, conversations with people. Yeah. Uh, they post pics, stories. Um, you know, there's a meme room. There's different rooms for everything. Yeah. You can go on and talk about kinks and, you know, bulls and unicorns. And yeah, they definitely have rooms for, like, everything. Yeah, so. definitely. And uh, we have our very own room. And I want to say thank you for everyone that's been posting in our room, saying that they love the podcast. They're new to the podcast, you know, listening to the podcast. And they yeah, were shocked. Awesome. Shocked by how awesome we were. I'm like, I'm shocked by how awesome we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew we're awesome. Uh, because, so. you know, okay. when, when we started this podcast, I figured maybe, you know, 10 people maybe would listen yeah, to Yeah, I honestly didn't think like it would get the reach that it has because that was my concern. Like, who's going to fucking yeah. listen to this? But we're creeping on 100,000 downloads now. <laughs> really? Wow. That's yeah. crazy. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's crazy like i thought the number of people following on fet was like crazy but that's yeah. like yeah you're, you're almost way you're, more you're 10, 000, over ten thousand. no you're eleven thousand eleven thousand eleven right. my bad eleven thousand people following you on fet life as well <laughs> uh, so. now, i wish i would translate over to my only fans yes you do have an only fans i do and if you go to that link tree uh, no, not link tree. No, uh, just send us an email. Send us an email. So our email address is bbpineappleg at yahoo.com. That's going to be the easiest thing to do to get my link. Yep. Uh, we'll give you a discount. And there's yeah. no pay-per-view. So once you get in there for the month, you have access to everything. Yeah, I mean, hours I upon hours of... Videos and photos, and we have lives that yeah. we've done. And yeah, it's um, yeah, no extra money to watch... The good shit. Yeah. And if you guys want to watch the, the sexy V build Lego. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to upload that video today. Uh, topless. Yeah, it was actually. While getting fucked. Yeah. So today we are <laughs> snowed in and I had bought a Lego set at the store and um, I was building it and he's like, take off your shirt and build a uh, topless. So I'm like, yeah. okay. Well, we'll try turned- to get a new market. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah, you got pretty turned on. So you were like, hey, why don't you just. Bend over and see if you can build Lego while getting fucked. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, and, and so you that set lasted up the like <laughs> that lasted like maybe three pieces you put on. And yeah, then... I was able to do like finish the easy part, and I was able to turn the page, but then it got a little complicated, and then I just got like engrossed and <laughs> you fucking me. So yeah, yeah that was hot. Definitely. So yeah, it's funny. I'll post that. Yeah, um, so that's gonna be on the OnlyFans. So you know, there's a lot of fun stuff there. We had a Christmas video we put out there where you're blowing Santa Claus and yeah. getting railed by him. Yep. Uh, so we got that awesome stuff yeah. out there. Yeah. You know, it's not a crazy high production. It's just oh, us. No. It's just having us fun. Yeah. yeah. It's we not were anything. we were we were videotaping it and shit before we even had OnlyFans. Well, yeah, absolutely. It was just our thing, but now yeah, we have definitely. a place for people to enjoy it. Definitely got to find. Other people, though, to film with. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get that. That are, like, legitimate, you know, creators on yeah, OnlyFans. Exactly, That's yeah. the thing. So oh, if you, I got an OnlyFans account. But. So if you guys want to collab with us, <laughs> just hit us up. Yeah, and, you know, you're local in the, you know, yeah. area, Within the Chicagoland Chicago area. area. Yeah. yeah. So that, that'd be fun. 
Hit us up. We'll see. We'll do some awesome collabs. Remember, almost 100,000 downloads. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I kind of teased it at the beginning. I got this weird message. Well, it was, didn't start off weird. Okay. Uh, this guy hit us up on SLS, mm-hmm. and our our SLS just ran out. So uh, Okay. So don't hit us up on SLS right now. Yeah. Uh, probably won't hit that up until the next party comes Maybe around. closer to end of February or March. Yeah. Yeah, just take a little break on SLS. But um, this guy hit me up on SLS, and he was a single guy, you know, within the area. Yeah, um, in the mass, he's in Madison. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, if you make a drive, you know, because yeah, we, we've we had, had Madison we've had guy, Madison guy. Uh, yeah, he's come down, the big schlonger guy. Yeah, I mean, he he came down to bang me and bang me, and was gone within two seconds. Three seconds? Five minutes? Fifteen minutes? minutes? <laughs> yeah. No, like the whole fucking encounter, like, <laughs> yeah, like 15. from walking in the yeah, door yeah, to that, walking back out the door. Yeah, that first that first time was pretty rough. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, so this guy hits me up, and, you know, he, he looked like a decent-looking dude, mm-hmm. and he had, uh, like, a nice eight-inch cock. Okay. And it was so no- he intrigued you? He intrigued me. Okay. Because I love he a leveled nice up. Co- I, yeah, because <laughs> I love a nice big cock. Yes. Um. And not the weird big cocks. <laughs> not the weird big cocks. I don't know. I, I, I got in this conversation on Discord this week that uh, I, I I think I'm like a cock snob. Really? Yeah. Where I like nice looking cocks. You know, there's well, some. I know you can't, you can't, you know, you're dealt with you're the born, cock. Right. You're no, I get it. Get. I get it. But I can look at one cock and look at another cock and be like, I like this one better. This one's better than that one. Oh, for sure. It's just personal preference, and yeah, I get it. No. You don't need to defend yourself. Okay. Well, I had to on Discord. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. People were giving you shit for it? A little bit. Like, what were they saying? Uh, that, you know, basically, you know, you can't. You just can't help it. You can't help it, but I'm like. Well, yeah, but if there's something about a cock that turns you off, then that's yeah. just going to completely ruin the situation because you're going to think about yeah. it. You're not going to be comfortable. Um, yeah, because they're like, well, what if this guy's like really nice, you know, a cool dude, you know, fits everything, and then, you know, you get in the bedroom and his cock is deranged looking. Because we have seen some fucked up looking cocks on Fat Life. Yes, but here's the thing: I'm gonna see their cock before they're in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, in yeah. most cases, like yeah. when we're, it's not like we're out at the bar picking. Dudes no, up. exactly. Like if we're intending to hook up with a guy. We're exchanging photos ahead of time. Yeah. And you're hoping and trusting that those pictures are legit, <laughs> yeah, yeah, real, of yeah, course. Yeah, real. But, you know, that's the, the chance you take. So, but, you know, then you think about dating in the past. You know, you find somebody that you like and then you have sex with them for the first time. Yep. And, and then you're and either like, uh, uh what, what the, the fuck, fuck is was going on here? <laughs> like, what was that? Or, like, wow, I, that was awesome. How do I or get whatever. out of this relationship now? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I haven't banged, you know, I've, I don't know. I Have you ever come across like a surprise bad looking dick? Well, no. No. But there, well, that's subjective. You know, okay. being weird is subjective because I have been with a guy who had... Oh, yeah, the flail imp- cock. Yes. he. Well, <laughs> I have been with two guys, two separate guys that had implants in their cock. Uh-huh. Um, plastic beads implanted on, you know, the under the layers of the skin, Ugh. like on the Ouch. shaft. <laughs> um, and then one of the guys also had what's called a me- meotomy or metotomy. And it's basically you are cutting... The head of your cock oh. from the pee hole yeah. down to the urethra. Mm. So you're basically like filleting it open. Yeah. And then when it heals, you have to keep it from healing back together yeah. because that's the whole point of it is to have it open like that. Now, I had never heard of this until you told me about it and I looked up pictures. It's a hardcore body mod, yes. It, it Basically, if you took a hot dog, put it in the microwave for a minute. Similar. And it kind of splits open. Yes, similar. That's what it looks like. Yes. <laughs> and I've had my tongue all up in that shit. Oh! <laughs> <fuck>. <laughs> Does that uh, make oh, you think differently of me? Well, 
No. It does. No. It doesn't make me think differently. But I guess I just, just how I, I said it. I would was, just put them in a, You know, it was definitely weird at first. Um, I won't lie. Yeah. Um, I guess I really don't remember the details of like the first time that we hooked up. I knew about it prior. Um, but that was just uh, part of my life that I was into yeah. hardcore body mods and stuff like that. Yeah. So, you know, whatever. And... Yeah. I don't know. You know, if only we had video to go with this, you would have seen my face just recoil yes, in horror. It was, yeah. I, well, I guess how I presented what, yeah, I mean, I could have said you, it a you little said nicer. I was all up in but it. yeah, I know I had to, I had to do that. I, you know, that's just for, uh, but, for the reaction. But, uh, like I said, once again, we're on a tangent here. But, um, this guy, you know, good looking dude, nice cock. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And, you know, Madison is only, you know, probably like an hour. It's like an hour from here. An hour from here, yeah. so it's not that big of a drive. Um, so I'm like, at that point, I'm like, okay, let's take this to kick. Yeah. So we go to kick, and we're just conversating, and he made the com- he made the comment that um, his parents were swingers. Yeah, that's a bit weird. And I'm like, okay, you know. But you have to remember when we were at that um, the hotel party, we met a couple yeah. that. Their, their I sister, think her sister was a swinger. I'm not sure swinger. if the parents were a swinger, yeah. but you know, it is something that happens where yeah. the families are open about it. And yeah, I guess if your parents are into something, then you and, may get into it too. Yeah, and at that point, you know, I I'm like, okay, that's that's cool. You know, that they're an open family like right. that. Yeah, but I, the way the conversation then went to, mm, yeah, is creepy. I made the com- I made the comment. Uh, you know, he made the original comment. He goes. He goes, well, how often would this be a thing? Right. Can we make it regular? I'm like, well, we don't even know how good you are yet. Right. And then he made the comment, well, my mom said I'm good. Oh. And I'm like, oh, fuck no. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if he's just trying to be funny, like, haha, because he did make the comment his parents are swingers. So, you but, know, but he, he was also- trying to get the reaction or he was legitimately you know being honest about it and that's kind of fucking gross well before he made that comment he he said well i'm going to because it was new year's eve and oh, right he was i'm like well what's your new year's eve plans and he's like well i'm going to go to the swinger party with my mom and dad and i was mm. like I'm, I, at that point i was kind of a little bit you know i was like okay that's a bit that's weird. a bit much yeah no way in hell would i be anywhere near the same party and then he made the comment that you know he fucked his mom right and i was like instant block yeah i mean i hate to king shame but that's just you know incest draw i draw the line at incest yeah, yeah. i'm sorry yeah, but there there is a group of uh swingers that are on tiktok right mm mm-hmm. mhm and where it is this old, uh, slightly older lady and this younger girl. Okay. And and, and they do these cheesy TikToks where okay. they're like, you know, the best thing about swinging uh, is my mom gets to fuck my husband. Or, or, or me and my mom did it last night together. <gasps> and this chick has... Oh. Oh my gosh. This chick has like hundreds and thousands but of followers. Here's the thing. You look on like Pornhub, for example, and it's, you know, the stepbrother, stepmom, step, no. th- you know, you have the whole, <laughs> you don't necessarily, you do run across, you know, like mom, son type thing, but no. most of it is like, like step mom, yeah. but still it's a fine line. And yeah. I never got into that type of porn. It's no. not no. like that storyline does not get me going. That situation is not for no, me. Me neither. So, and, and I, I made a comment because, uh, I'm one of these, cause they, their videos always, cause I, you know, my algorithm on TikTok is swingers. Yeah. And so I don't follow it. But they keep coming up on my for you page with this with this chick because she's everywhere. Yeah, and uh, you know, and she looks like she's a trailer park run through trash. Anyway, <laughs> no, don't judge. Come I, on. I am fucking judging because <laughs> she's disgusting. And um, it uh, somebody made a comment in in her comment section because of course I gotta go and read the comments in these. That's what you do because yep. that's what I do. I read mm-hmm. comments and everything, yep. even porn home. Yep. Um, somebody made a comment. They're like. Oh, you swinger people are are disgust. All you swinger people are disgusting. 
So they're going to lump all swingers into that category of, hey, you all fuck your family members. Yeah. And that's not fair. No. Because that's not how it is. Definitely. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, and so I'm like, so I made a comment. Uh, I, I go, don't judge all of us swingers yeah. based on this trash. Exactly. You know? Did and that piss people off because you said trash or no? No, no. Oh, okay. uh, the guy came back and commented. And he, he, go, he goes, no, you guys are the scum of the earth. Oh, Jesus. I'm like, so then why the fuck is he here? Was this on Discord? No, this was on uh, this was on TikTok. Oh, TikTok. Okay, but here's the thing: I do not understand the people that go there on these, you know, swinger pages and go into the comments and actually start yeah. talking shit about these yeah, people. Well, the lives. If you uh, our, our our friends at Swing Nation, they'll go on live on TikTok, and if you're in their live chat room. Uh, you'll just see people Getting talk back. shit about and it's like why all the time. why join if it's you know it's not like I'm joining uh, lives of people that do things that I'm not about or maybe don't agree with. Let them do their thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Like why the fuck would I go on there and start trolling them just because? Yeah, yeah it's because you know people. What's don't, the point? People don't have you know they're in their basement. I know they do it to make themselves feel better about yeah. their pathetic lives. But yeah. it's just ridiculous. Yeah, so, you know, those type of videos and that kind of stuff is giving, you know, swing, you know, because swingers have a bad name already. There's a lot of stigma attached to being a swinger. For yeah, sure. and we don't need this trash, you know, right. muddying the waters as it is. Yeah. And uh, another thing I'm going to touch on, I'm not going to go too far into it um, because it was kind of a black eye for the swingers again on tiktok Mm -hmm. as we had some infighting within the swing talk community yeah and i went in and watched a live video of one of them and they were talking trash about this other person oh yeah and so people are all like well look you know swingers can't coexist with each other they're fighting no geez and this is what happens when swinging happens right when you let other people fuck your husband or wife or whatever yeah so i'm like man i'm like i i I love both these guys yeah i'm like but keep the fucking drama you guys you know whatever business issues you had yeah you take take that you keep that offline you don't put it out on you because you're supposed to be like like the faces you guys are faces of swingers right and you're making swingers look Bad well, right not now. only that, they are on like OnlyFans, and they're like trying. They're it's like a business to them, yeah. you know. It's why would they basically shit in their? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah, kitchen. It, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like where they eat? Like <laughs> yeah, it, 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 you know, it was just another black eye, and I'm like, man, this is a rough week for for swingers right here because yeah. it's making us look really bad. And yeah. I just kind of kept my nose out of it. You know, I'm like I said, I'm not diving too much into it right now. Because they need to figure out their own shit. It's just yeah, it's just drama, but, but yeah, it doesn't so, involve us. So. so yeah, but yeah, that kind of stuff needs to stay offline for sure. Uh, so okay, well, uh, so yeah, so don't. And the thing is, is that this guy, we had a good conversation going with this guy. Yeah, up and then then. He, then he just like it's like he tried to cut his own throat with it, or he was just trying to he, be like. I don't know. Maybe he was just trolling you the whole time. I I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, because he he sent me a live pic of you know. Was his, he certified at all? Because that was on SLS. Uh no, he wasn't certified. Okay, so that should have been my first. Maybe we should stay away from the non-certified, the non-certified people. people. Yeah. Uh, but, so uh, so yeah. yeah, so I blocked him on SLS, blocked him on Kick, and yeah. yeah. So hopefully, uh, That's crazy. he stays out of anywhere else. That we're at. All right, guys, so we are going to get into our DM slides, official DM slides of the week. Yeah. Um. And do you want to go first? Or? Yeah, this is, you know, like I said, lately it's been pretty quiet on the DM front. Um, I have been getting DMs that are, you know, very friendly and nice. So I appreciate that. I guess it's a good thing that I don't have any crazy DMs to talk about, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but I did get a couple messages. It was like six messages from one particular person. Um, he initially hit me up said thanks for sharing, made me very hard. And then probably like 20 weeks later, he hits me back up and says, I wish I could slide into you after 10 minutes. <laughs> now, he's referring to, I think, a video that we had posted about um, a gentleman that we had invited over to the house. Mm. And, you know, we had, I don't know if it was a lunch break or oh, yeah. or whatever yeah, yeah, it, was. it was. Yeah. 
And I, I think we made the comment or something about um, how he's fucking me after 10 minutes of, you know, walking in the door or something like that. Yeah. So I think that's what he was what he was referring to. But I would also like to say just because that's something that maybe was mentioned in a comment yeah, or right. whatever, it's not like these people are complete fucking strangers. You know, obviously they're vetted and stuff. No. But just because I may do something with one person doesn't mean I'm going to do it with fucking everybody. Yeah. And that's the impression I was getting with this person. Um, because then a few weeks or shortly after that, he says, uh, will you bend over for me in person? And then he sends a question mark like, hello, because at this point I'm just, you yeah, know, you're it, ghosting it, it, yeah, it's just not well, worth you, my time. You hardly ever talk to anyone on your DMs there. I'm anyway. fat. Yeah. For the most part, I'm not really into chatting so much. I just don't have a lot if of time to If you want to personally it. chat with the sexy V, though, but yeah, go to the OnlyFans. If you want my time, you know, yeah. that gets all of my attention, so... Yeah. Um, and then, then he gets a little pissy. He's like, okay, then, you know, it's like, okay, well, you don't need to be rude. I guess I could, he could turn around and say, well, you're being rude for not replying back. But it's like, for one thing, what am I supposed to say to that? Because he is kind of local. He is an older gentleman, according to his profile. Um, when you go to his profile, he has memes and just crazy pictures so who even knows he does have there's a couple face shots on there but who even knows if that's him yeah because usually with these uh posts or these pages that have memes and yeah it's you know it's random all... pictures of other people getting fucked and stuff like that they're they're yeah. just troll pages so um but yeah. yeah apparently he was butt hurt because i wasn't replying back but it's like dude just because i've you know, may do something with one person doesn't mean that I'm going to automatically do it with you yeah. as well. Yeah, that's, you know, it's like, Pretty and, presumptuous. and I've noticed this a lot with the fat life people is that they feel that they're uh, entitled. They're, they're entitled to Absolutely. It. Like just because I'm on there showing off my titties or maybe showing off me sucking cock or getting fucked. Like that's all I do all day long with any person I come across. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, uh, that's like well, look, you get the ones. I'm driving through town. Uh, I'll be. Can there I come in, over and fuck you? Uh, yeah, I'll be in your town in an hour. Right. Drop them panties and let right, me yeah. fuck the shit out of you. Like, oh yeah, let me drop everything and come meet you at the truck stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Sorry, but that does not get my panties yeah, wet. No, not at all. All right, so my DM slide comes from SLS. All righty. Um, and I'm. Pulling this one up, uh, this one wasn't too badly written out, you know, but it's the this type of person that writes. And, okay. and we've gotten multiple of these. Uh, and I'll get to it here. It goes, hi, how are you guys doing today? I am a married male. The wife doesn't enjoy sex anymore due to medication The wife doesn't like sex anymore, partly due to medication, partly due to her self-esteem. So, (laughs) Okay, yeah. Um, I've been with other couples before and enjoyed every moment of it. I think the wife knows, but (gasps) I think the wife knows, but I understand we've talked about it a little. And she's basically told me to do what I have to do. Uh, And then he goes, are you interested in meeting? All right, this dude gets, this is him writing. He goes, he goes uh, knows, understands, we've talked about it a little, and she's basically told me to do what I have to do. Are you interested in meeting you guys for a drink and see if there's anything or any interest in wanting to go further and clean and very discreet? Wow. I thoroughly enjoy helping him pleasure her in any way she desires. I look forward to hearing from you. I hope you had a happy uh, and Merry Christmas. Yeah, I'm not into the whole wife thing, not knowing, because he said she doesn't know. Yeah, they maybe talked about it, but it doesn't sound like it. Like She may assume that he may go out and fuck people, but it's not like he's like, okay, honey, I'm going to go fuck this couple tonight. And then we'll I'll come home and tell you all about it and reconnect, yeah. like that kind of thing. Now, we've had a few of these guys slip into the Discord as well. Okay. Where they're like, uh, you know, trying to hook up with some people that are on there. Mm-hmm. And and uh, and 
these are well seasoned veteran swingers where yeah. where they go, well, this is what we have them do. We have the wife phone call us or video chat with us oh, really? saying that it is okay for him to do this. Wow. And when they say they bring that up to these people, mm-hmm. then they get blocked or ghosted. Oh, I'm sure. And at that point, you know, they, you know. they report them to us moderators yeah. and we'll just kick them out. Because yeah. Because these guys are just looking just to fuck around. Jeez. That's, yeah, that's one way to try and keep the, you yeah. know, married people that, that shouldn't be there. Yeah. yeah you because, know, yeah, just, you know, I don't need to be the... involved in some kind of cheating shit because that's just inviting drama. Yeah. And because, you know, that's not fair to get home. Poor wife. He gets home and he's smelling like your beautiful pussy. And his wife be like, "Whose beautiful pussy do I smell on your dick? Let me smell <laughs> let, your old let dick. Let me smell your dick." <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, so I, I I don't get it, you know, personally. And it, it's it, we constantly get these people. And I understand that there are marriages like that where they're significant other is allowed to go fuck yeah. other people. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, but. They know about it. Now, they may not need to know all the details about what happens, oh, yeah. but they at least know about it and they know, like, when it happens. And they're probably, like, informed before it happens. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I don't know. I guess everybody's dynamic is different. And maybe there are scenarios where yeah. some people so- just let their significant other do other things. They don't want to know about it, but they... Kind of like out of sight, out of mind type thing. Yeah. Uh, so let that be a tip for you know you couples if you're just starting out and you get these type of messages, be like, well, you know, she doesn't need to know, you know, all the different ways you're gonna bend my wife over and fuck her and shit. But have your wife, you know, Facetime us or call us, right? So we just can verify that she knows it. And you're it'll, it'll up scare with them off nine out of ten times. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, the, otherwise that's just the guys out there just trying to cheat and you're going to get caught up in something. Yeah. You know, the wife is going to backtrack, you know, cause mm-hmm. most of these guys are fucking idiots anyway. Yeah. Uh, and you're they'll inviting have a paper drama. trail and, yeah. you know, texts and te- yeah, yeah. phone calls. If that, yeah. yeah text ex- messages. Exactly. But yep. Yeah. So stay away from, from those cancerous people in the lifestyle for sure. All right. So that is our DM slides of the week. Slides of the week. Slide. I need to get like a sound. Yeah, you need to. Yeah. Sounds of the week. Something. Slide of the week. All right, guys. So our new story for tonight uh, is called Jolly Good Fun. Seven and ten plan to get frisky in their childhood bedroom during the holidays. <laughs> oh, in the childhood bedroom. Like when they go back for like family visits and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of always creeped me out, like seeing that in movies and stuff. But go on. Well, I can't really talk because well, I, I fucked you it, in your parents' house. Yeah, but that, that's not like my childhood bedroom. You know what I mean? Like where I grew up yeah. in is like a little, or I have my little, I was going to say like little teddy bears in the corner, but I guess I got Hello Kitty shit all over. So. You got Hello Kitty It's a little Lego. different. Well, I guess that's just what I... <laughs> Moving on. All right, so the story here. uh, The holidays are heating up in some very unusual places. A new study finds almost 7 in 10 adults plan to get intimate in their childhood home or parents' house as they return for the holiday season. In a poll of 2,000 sexually active adults, two-thirds agree that. Because holiday travel makes it difficult to find time to be intimate, they are willing to take more risk sexually. Yeah, I suppose so. Although most respondents plan to get it on in their parents' home, 67% admit they feel uncomfortable doing so, (laughs) even as an adult. Yeah. Two-thirds say that they are more likely to spice things up in the bedroom during the holiday season compared to other times during the year. Hmm. I wonder why. The poll conducted by one poll on behalf of Pure Romance sought to uncover how the holiday magic follows couples into the bedroom. 77% 77% agree that festive holiday sex is more magical than non-holiday sex. <laughs> so when they say holiday sex, is that just having sex from like a certain time of the year? Maybe like 
from like Thanksgiving to Christmas or something, like Thanksgiving to New Year's. Like I don't know. It's it's you know what makes it so different. It's like baby, put on that Santa Claus hat. Come over and fuck Come me over by the Christmas and tree. Blow me. Yeah. Hey, we did that. Hey, we did that too. <laughs> we sure did that. Go to our OnlyFans. Uh, got some fucking yeah. hot stuff out there. Uh, even so, 52% of respondents say that, that they have less sex with their partner during the holidays because you're busy. Busy and, doing stuff. Know. Yeah, I guess. You know, there was a couple days where we couldn't really have like time to sit down and do it, but you did uh, put your cock in me in the garage when we were outside. Hell yeah. Yeah. And grab, grab him a drink out of the garage. Yeah. I'm like, oh, come over and bend me over oh, real fast. Well, you, you <laughs> fucking bent over and you had that red thong on that oh, I really like. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Oh, pff. I see Boing. red. I'm like a bull. <laughs> <laughs> my, my old school bull comes out. <laughs> <laughs> However, that's not to say people aren't making an effort to be intimate. Compared to other times during the year, 69% of the poll are more likely to sneak in a quickie during the holiday season. There you go. When asked what factors decrease their sex during the holidays, the top deterrents include being too busy spending time with family and friends, uh, stress, and not getting enough sleep. Yeah, I can see all that. In order to reignite the spark, more than 6 in 10 people are likely to give their partner a sex-themed gift this holiday season. Oh, okay. Like some little sexy outfit yeah. or maybe like a 10-inch dildo. That, that's hard to explain to the kids on Christmas morning. Look what Santa Claus brought me. My 10-inch dildo. Well, that's why you do that, you know, without the kids around. Uh, well, it's a special present. Uh, well, it's like uh, you were. Uh, <laughs> you asked me uh, what I'd like in my stocking, and you're like, how about some underwear or whatever? <laughs> And I'm like, well, I'm thinking like practical shit, you know. I'm like, well, I don't feel comfortable, you know, right now with your family knowing what my underwear is. <laughs> that would be like me sticking, you know, lacy thongs in your in your stocking. Would that would that weird? Would that be weird for you pulling that out in front of your family? Um, yeah, yeah, no. a little bit. It would probably be something where I like pull out and see what it is and just kind of like <laughs> move it to the side. I wouldn't be like, oh, hey, check out these really sexy thongs my man got me. He's going to want to see me bent over in these later. Excuse us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. It's like, you know, I get it. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> it's a new face mask. <laughs> 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 yep. For the uh, new variant. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <The> Oma Pussycron. Seventy two percent even went so far as to say that being given a sex theme present from their significant other would increase their libido and make them excited to use the gift. That's kind of sad though that you feel like you have to give your significant other a gift to like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just ask them, like, hey, yeah, yeah, let's, let's fuck. Let's fuck. Like, hey, let's go get me a sexy outfit and a red wig. And, you know, like, if you really wanted to spice it up, like, you must have some kind of idea how you want to spice it up. Like, no. just be about it. Yeah. I, you know, because, fuck, if I were to be like, honey, you want to fuck tonight? <laughs> you, you know, you would be like, yeah, of course. <laughs> like, oh, fuck, I was expecting to. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's a nightly thing for us to fuck, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, if you don't fuck me, I'm going to think there's something wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's like, let me smell your dick. <laughs> Who are you fucking today? <sighs> your dick smells like some nasty pussy. You're fucking that chick from TikTok. <laughs> oh, God. That's <laughs> banging her mom. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So gross. All right, guys. So we are going to move on to our sexy story of the week. Yeah. And this one is a, a little bit more, um, it, it's sexy, but it's got a lot of history to it. Yeah. And they're, I'd say, well, they're definitely friends um, as opposed to just people we bang occasionally. Yeah. Um, so this is, I don't know, I have mentioned... In the past, how I had hooked up with a girlfriend of mine um, in my 20s, and her husband watched us. Um, It wasn't anything like where he participated in any way, shape, or form, except he was in the room watching. And um, we had basically, you know, we, you know, life happens, and 10 years later, we reconnect, and we end up hanging out more often. And then one thing led to another, and they, 
um, evolved their relationship into him participating with other people, Mm -hmm. whether that be other males or females in their uh, relationship. And I know, like, uh, after the first couple of times that we had hooked up, they're like, you know, no offense to you or anything, but, you know, our ideal thing would be a couple, you know, so that way they could both experience it as opposed to, um, just another female coming in because that's the only thing that they had experienced. Mm. So. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, you've never told me that. Oh, okay. That's the first time hearing it. So, um, so yeah, anyways, so. so. So when they said don't take offense to it, were you like, oh, cool, I'll just go find someone? No, not at all, because <laughs> we still, well, no, it wasn't like that because we still, you know, did stuff afterwards, but that was like their big fantasy. Like that oh. was their like. Um, to have like a couple on the rag where they can just kind of to swap have off. a couple, yeah. Well, they both had, you know, like he had a female to hook up with, and she had the husband or boyfriend yeah. to hook up with. So that way, I mean, not that anyone ever felt left out when it was just the three of us, but you know, I guess ideally that was just what yeah. they wanted to do. I they mm-hmm. had never experienced that. Um, so yeah, uh, so 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 uh, to spoil it just a little bit because mm-hmm. uh, we ended up fucking them. Uh, do you know if they've been with other couples? Um, I don't think a full couple. Um, I know that they have tried in the past to like get it going with other people, but I know when I was with them one evening, we did hook up with another friend of theirs, but it, there was yeah. no, it wasn't a couple. It was just yeah. another male. Yeah. So. Yeah, so you had a slot so, A and a slot B and a slot A and a slot right. B. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I was single at the time when we started hanging out a lot. So I was basically like a unicorn for them. Mm-hmm. Not that it was like an exclusive thing, but I guess it kind of was because it's not like I was out being in other couples. No. But it's not like I was like looking. Yeah, yeah we weren't it putting yourself happened. out as a unicorn. Right. No, not at all. And it's the not universe like, just kind of put you there. And we were, right. And we were. We were friends, you know, we've known each other for a long time. So it's not like every time we hooked up or like hung out, we hooked up. It's Mm -hmm. not like it was a planned, it was a very organic thing. So anyways, so I was hanging out with them often and I was like, okay, I want to find a guy. And Mm -hmm. especially, you know, if that's like, hey, let's, let's have some fun. Let's bring another person in here. So that's when I went on Tinder and started looking around and met you. Yeah. That's why I told you, like, hey, you know, would you be interested in a, in a couple swap? I, yep. I brought that up off the bat, like, yeah, initially. Yeah, and I was like, well, let me tell you a thing yeah. or two, lady. <laughs> so, anyways, we um, we hooked up with, you know, we basically then, you know, the corona happened and all that shit, and we didn't yeah. really hang out with him as often as we did. Yeah. Well, well, go back to the start here, you know, when we started going out. Um we were just kind of fuck buddies. Yeah, you know, we were. Yeah, quote we unquote like fuck dating. buddies. And, yeah, and uh, and you were like, well, you know, can I still fuck? You know, fuck like the, if it were to happen, if it were to happen, would I care? Right? Would and, you and like, be like, offended? And like that or... that first weekend, you were like, no, it was like the day after. Some it was like really close after we had well, hooked up, and then then you guys ended up fucking. So <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I, I just and, and but just, here here's my thing is that you know I wasn't jealous or anything. No, and and, that's and I was the totally thing. open to it. And and I was worried about that, but then again, I was like, but I also don't want to have this person be like, no, you can't because you know, we, we aren't dating and I don't want to have someone like controlling, you know, that was the whole thing I was like trying to get away from. So, but I wanted you to know about it at least because you know, we were kind of getting involved and I did, you know, like you, like you weren't coming over. I'm like, let me smell that pussy. (laughs) Right. Smell like another dick. Right. So, (laughs) so I think I hooked up with them maybe once or twice. Yeah. I think you got with them twice. I think twice. Yeah. Um, and then, we kind of lost touch a little bit. A few months went by. We went back and um, we did have an. Ex- you know, we hooked up with them. Well, it was uh, it was it was right. more of a soft swap that day because it was going to be a full swap. Well, but this yeah. is, and we haven't talked. You know, this was going to be a whole episode by itself. But you know, now that we had an actual full on experience happen, we're kind of lumping that first experience with this experience, right? Uh, my cock didn't work. Right. It started 
I think that was shortly after the experience that the, we did talk about yeah. with the couple, with the couple, with the kids with in the, the house kids, yeah. that we had mentioned. And so I think it was behind in my it head. It was at a that mental point. thing, and I knew it was because I could tell you were worried about it, yeah. and that right there, you know, you're thinking about because, it because because when we started off, it was uh, just you, me, and him because mm-hmm. she was off. You know, shower and getting ready or whatever. Right. And so you were blowing us both, and you know it was fine. You were both hard. Yeah. You know, just going at it, and then she came in and sucked me for a little bit, and you know I'm still hard, and mm-hmm. you know enjoying it and everything, and and it came down to like game time. Right. Like putting and a condom. Putting on. Putting a condom and- on. So you know I went to go get the condom, and I kind of like lost my heart on, and right. then that was just game over from there. Yeah. And, and then uh, you didn't fuck them that night. You, know, you it was just oral from yeah, both everyone. Yeah, we just everyone played and, around a little bit. Um, you know, it was still fun, enjoyable. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, we hung out a few times after that. Nothing happened. And then, um, we again, we lost t- a few months went by. And um, I ran into her randomly at the store. And I was like, hey, what are you guys doing for New Year's? Um, I had been with them um, on New Year's a few years prior. I know they're not crazy partiers, so they're typically just chilling at home. You know, they have a really nice basement with a bar and pool table and all that stuff. Um, so I figured they would just be chilling at home. And, um, yeah, they invited us over. So we decided to go over there. And, yep. and there was no talk ahead of time saying no, oh, it, play or anything. No, or? nothing's ever planned like that with them. It's very, if it happens, it happens. If not, it yep. doesn't. You yep. know, they don't want to have, like, expectations. Oh, I, I, well, you sent me a text saying, oh, you know, uh, uh, they want us to come over and hang with them for for New Year's. Yeah, and and I text back. I'm like, oh yeah, New yeah. Year's Eve orgy. Yeah, you're like, oh yeah, New Year's Eve Eve orgy. And I'm like, well, but there are going to be other people there that aren't necessarily into that lifestyle. Yeah. Um, I know the one couple. Um, you know, she's had a she's dabbled into playing a little bit, but yeah, yeah not- because the the one night that we were there. Uh, your friend and her were with another guy up in the bedroom yeah. while we were there, and she came down. And she's like, "Oh yeah, you know, I I was the fluffer." <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I'm I, like, I'm like, whoa, this is <laughs> this is kind of party. I'm right. Right? I'm like, like, where do I fucking these sign are up for your friends? Them? Like, where do I sign up for out this with? shit? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you know, they just like to have fun, and that's that's all it is. So, um, yeah, I forgot. Oh, really? Yeah, what the yeah, point of my oh no? Because we're tangent was yeah, because I was talking about you know you were talking about you know she's not really into swinging. oh right and then the other gentleman that th- that was there that was hanging out I don't think he's into it at all um so you know we had to wait for everybody to leave and uh, the husband made a comment when we were off by the fridge or something kind of away from everybody he made a comment he's like we want you guys to stay afterwards. If you can, I was like, uh, okay. Yeah. So then I knew it was on. You yeah, know, clearly yeah. they wanted. And to, I had, I had no idea. You knew ahead of time, right? Or, but at I at that time, at that time, yeah. but that was towards the end of the night. So it's not like I knew all night long, and I was yeah. like, keeping it a big secret from you or anything. Yeah. But yeah, because at one point, you know, you kind of pointed. You know, she go, you you go. Oh, is that your hat? I'm like, oh, so you know, okay, that's my hat. Maybe we're gonna be going. Yeah, I guess I was. So just I was kind of like kind of standing there, and yeah, and then you just kind of like. You lit up another another smoke, yeah. and then I'm like, okay, so I'll sit back down. <laughs> I'll, I'll drink some water here, and then and then I started getting this vibe. I'm like, hmm, something's going down. Here. <laughs> something's going something's down. happening here. Well, he was trying to get the other people to leave <laughs> because it was after midnight. I think it was probably close to yeah, two it was o'clock. Like two o'clock. Um, it was like one thirty once he started trying to get everybody out, um, and then around two o'clock. That's finally when the other dude left because, like, we were standing up. Like, I was acting like I was getting ready to leave. Maybe the other guy was going to get up and start doing that, like, get my cue. And then I went off to the bathroom, and I'm like, okay, well, maybe he'll get him out. And then sure enough, once I came back, he was, you know, no. taking dude upstairs and, and seeing him out. But Yeah, and, and then at that point, you sat down and had another smoke. And I'm like, okay, well, something must be going on. <laughs> Otherwise, we probably would have left when this dude left. Yeah, for so sure. So I got the I hint. was a little tired, yeah. Because because uh, I would have liked to know him beforehand, too, because I I came prepared. You did, and I apologize. I guess I didn't. Um, 
I don't know. I guess I just assumed you probably assumed. Well, well, well I, I kind of because because I ended up bringing a, a blue chew with you me. You were prepared, yeah. Because I didn't want to have what happened last time happen this time. Yeah. And with the blue chew, yeah. blue chew, go to bluechew.com. <laughs> Just gives you a little more confidence. Yeah, it gives us a little bit more confidence. I actually got a code for blue chew now that I, I, I got to get it. Uh, oh, you do? Yeah, I, I have a code now. I don't know what it is. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but if you go to Blue Chew and sign up and then use our code, then we get it like a kickback for it. Okay. Well, uh, so. Fuck, you need to figure out what the <laughs> fucking code is. Yeah, I know. Like, we'll, get it, we'll get it on the next episode. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Talking about not telling me shit. Uh, so, so, <laughs> so, so I snuck a couple condoms in my wallet and a Blue Chew in my wallet. So, <laughs> so I had cute. it I had it just in case. I had, you know, had one in the chamber. Yes. Just in case yep. you know the situation arose. I knew you, I knew you did. And uh, so at at one point, you know, you lit up that that smoke. Before, you know, after the dude left, I'm not smoking cigarettes. I'm smoking weed here. Yeah, people. yeah smoking weed. And so I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna go and pop a pill just in case. <laughs> no one has said anything. Yeah, I'm sorry. I guess I, sh- I we should probably have a signal or something. I guess we've never really talked about yeah. that because we've never really been in a situation with a couple yeah. really like that. Yeah. And I really didn't know what to expect either. Honestly, I did not expect anything to happen just because I knew there'd be people there. I knew that they'd be partying all night and drinking yeah. and I figured it just wouldn't happen. Yeah. Um, and so I actually, I, I actually honest- drank more than what I usually do too. So I was like, ah, fuck. See, so maybe it's better <laughs> that way because you weren't thinking about it so much yeah. you know so so i went and popped my blue chew came back out and we sat there for a little bit more and then at one point i was like fuck i don't think anything's gonna happen here <laughs> no i think he made the comment right after you went to the bathroom because when you went to the bathroom he was like so um do you know any girls who are like good at sucking cock or something like that oh. and then when you came back from the bathroom he's like oh yeah i was just asking the girls if uh but the thing is we had this conversation the last time we were there. I went and popped the pill. That's and true, and it didn't happened. happen. Yeah, <laughs> and I get, and that's the thing. It, you know, yeah. if it, it, you just like if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it yeah. doesn't. So it, it's it's yeah. hard so, to so, say. But so at this, least you were this, prepared. This blue chew did not go uh, <laughs> unwasted. Un- unwasted. So what happened there is that uh, we had, you know, I pounded a little bit more water, just kind of sober myself up a little bit. Yeah, because I knew it was going to be game time. Yeah. Uh, so we went upstairs, um, and we actually jumped in the shower. Yeah, we hopped in the shower real fast. Because uh, we did a little bit of fucking before we We did, yeah. Away. I rode your face for a little while before we left, and yeah. then we fucked, and then we just left. So, yeah. you know, being courteous, I wanted yep. to clean up and yep. not smell like, like sex uh, already. Sex already, yeah. <laughs> so, so we cleaned up, and uh, we walk out. Of, I walk out of the bathroom first, and I walk yeah. into the bedroom. Yeah. And, um, and I know it's got to do something with, you know... You know, not wanting the lights on. I but they, every they time like I've the hooked up with them, the it's always on. been lights off. And if that's what they're most comfortable with, um, I you know I don't yeah. know the reasoning, but you know whatever. Yeah, because I'm a lights on fucker. Absolutely, you are. Yeah. Um, like even if we get up like in the middle of the night, it's like put the light. Yeah, on. <laughs> and here's the thing: when I was in my past relationship, the lights had to be off all the time. Like he would make it a point to shut the lights. Oh off. no, you were too good looking for to be fucked in the dark. <laughs> Thank you, and you know I, that's what I love about you because, like, yeah, you wanna. You know, yeah, I want to see it all. See my silly faces. And fuck, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. You got a beautiful face, a beautiful body. You got mm-hmm. all the ink. I'm like, that's, that's just being wasted in the dark, man. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you know, I could just be fucking a hole or something, you know? Yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> uh, I, but yeah, it always made me feel some kind of way when he'd like, you know, get up and turn the light off and shut the blinds. I'm like, am I really that fucking repulsive to you? Yeah, like, no. come the fuck on. Fuck so no. Do that, you understand? Like, it's, it's dumb because you're fucking... Yeah. Oh. Fucking hard. Thank you. Uh, so I, I walk in because uh, you stay in the bathroom to dry off a little bit more. Yeah. And so I walk in and she's sucking his cock. Yeah. So I sat there and, you know, being the weirdo that I am, I just, just watching. I'm just watching and stroking yep. my cock. And uh, you can't. Oh, because I went to go grab the water. Yeah. yeah I went to grab uh, my hair clip to get the hair out of my face when I'm sucking cock. <laughs> and I grabbed the water. Yep. Uh, yeah. So I'm sitting there stroking my cock. Um, and. He got up and he told her to to start sucking my cock, mm-hmm. and then uh, he came over and she was sucking us both. Yeah. When you walked, then in. I walked in. Yeah. And then from there, you came over and you started sucking his cock, and she basically was, you know, yep. focusing on my cock. Yeah. And um, and I have to say, she's like this little dainty thing. Yeah, she's much smaller than I am. Yeah, she's 
She's like she's a very quarter, tiny she's girl. She's like a quarter of you. Yeah, no, she's very <laughs> very tiny. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, but I was really shocked how much of my cock she takes down her throat. Fit in her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, I look at her husband, who's hung like a fucking horse too. Well, he doesn't have. Well, yeah, he's not like a. He doesn't have a small cock. That's for sure. No. So his cock is you know relatively my size. Yeah, it's pretty much the same size. He just has a larger head. Yeah. That's pretty much. Yeah. You know. I think the, that's one of my downfalls is if I have, you know. Matching up these all, all these other guys we've been with, but is my head is smaller. It doesn't. But I got a, I got a big base on my cock. Abs- it, it it gets wider as it gets no. down, and that's no. yeah. I like that better actually. So. Yeah, mm, make me feel mm-hmm. good, baby. <laughs> I'm not just saying that. <laughs> uh, but uh, so so I was really shocked at how much of my cock she was she was putting down. So her you throat. were it, you I, enjoyed. I it. I was enjoying myself. Yes, immensely. Yes. and then uh, he told you to go over and start sucking my cock with her. Yeah. Um, so at one point, you were sucking my cock, and she started sucking my balls. Mm-hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, if there's anything I love the most in this world, it's getting my balls sucked on. <laughs> and it's fucking hot. And I was like, whoa, this is fucking <laughs> awesome, getting my dick sucked and my balls and sucked my on the balls side. sucked. I'm like, this is fucking hot. And I'm like, I just wish the fucking lights were on. Yeah, so you could so like I, see because there was a little detail. bit of light from the bathroom light coming in. Yeah, uh, but it wasn't enough to be like you know to like, f- see full on detail. Like a porn studio that we usually run in our right bedroom. with the fucking <laughs> lights and yeah, for sure. Uh, so at that point, um, I believe she went over and started fucking her husband, and uh, I came over. I had I bent you over and started yeah, fucking. We started you. fucking. Yep. And uh, we did that for a little bit. And it just, it, it was, what I had, do have to say, though, about the little bit of light coming in, it was that you have this, like, glow to your skin. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, the light coming in, just seeing just the glow, and then you, you just see, like, your dark tattoos on your back. Yeah. It's just so fucking sexy. Oh, okay. So, um, so I'm fucking you, and uh, you lay down on the bed, mm-hmm. and she comes over and starts licking your pussy. Yes. And then he gets up on the bed and puts his cock in your mouth. Yes. And I'm standing there. I'm like, at that point, I was like, okay, uh, do I fuck her? Right. Uh, And because nothing was talked ahead of time. Yeah. We just, yeah. Nothing was like, yeah, talked about ahead of time. And and I do know that we had talked about condoms the last time. Right. So that's why I brought the condoms. Right. And so I didn't want to be like. Well, do I put my condom on now? Right, and just assume. So yeah, no, you. So asked. so so I sat there and I was like fingering her pussy and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. uh, so I did that for a little bit, and then I'm like, so do you, do you guys care if I you know start fucking her? Right. And he goes, yeah, go ahead. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, like I said, she's tiny. Yeah. And so I had to like kind of crouch down <laughs> quite a bit. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and put the condom on, and you know, I'm like, man, this pill is working. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, get a raging heart on because this is only the second time since we've been together that I fucked another woman. Yes, uh, it was the hairy pussy lady the last yes. time. Yes, uh-huh. uh huh. So this is only the second time doing it. Yeah, and you know, I, I, she's bent over eating your pussy. Mm-hmm. You're sucking her husband's cock. Mm-hmm. So we got a nice. Daisy chain thing going yep. on here. <laughs> and I, I'm just fucking the shit out of her. And I kind of like look up at you and you kind of like watching me. Mm-hmm. And I got this like in my back of my mind. I'm like, I never asked you. Oh, my God. <laughs> and at that point, I was like, fuck, you know, I, I didn't ask. I asked him. Right. I didn't ask you. And and I just, you know, I, I know we're. We've talked about it before, you know, whatever happens, happens, you know, basically. And well, yeah, and if it was something I didn't want to happen, I would have told you because I know just based on the past, I knew it was a possibility. So yeah. if, no, I yeah, mean. Yeah, so, but I, when I got the look from you, you were liking what you were seeing. Oh, I had of her course. And, fuck and her. here's the thing. If I, if I, I told you, if I did not want you to fuck her, I would have definitely told you that. Before we even got there, yeah. knowing that they were, you know, into swapping and, you know, playing yeah. and having fun and stuff. So, no, yeah. don't even fucking worry about it. Yeah. And um, and uh, I I don't know if I got too rough with her. I don't know, you know, because I've 
only watched them fuck before. And yeah, he, no. he kind of fucking, he fucks her kind of like lightly. Well, I think in this scenario, he was a little drunk, so he was taking it a little easy because I know he said he, because yeah. I know when I was sucking his cock and then he walked away and I was like trying to give him a hand job and he's like, no, I need a minute. Mm. So I know he was like trying to prolong, you know, him coming. Yeah. Um, and come on, you have two chicks there that, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, yeah. um, that doesn't happen all that often. So. Yeah, so so I'm sitting there, I'm railing her bent over. Mm-hmm. And uh, so she stands up a little bit and, you know, she's getting really vocal with me fucking her. Yeah. And uh, at that point, you scooted over and you got into doggy style position. Yeah, I bent over the edge and, of the bed there. And, and then he started fucking you. Yeah. And... I laid her on the bed, uh, on her back, mm-hmm. and had her legs up and started yeah. fucking her that way. Yep. And you know, I just kind of looked over over my shoulder, and I thought he said that I was fucking her too hard. No, he didn't. I forget what he said, but he made a comment. But no, it wasn't you fucking her too hard. Oh, okay. Because I thought he said you're going too hard or something. No. Like that. I, I'm like, oh fuck. No, no, no. So no. at that point, I felt my dick kind of. Oh, because you kind of like, uh, it kinda like, like worried you were hurting her yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I was going at it and I was, you know, good thing with this fucking pill. Yeah. It's like, all right, you know, yeah, I started losing it. But, but it then came it back. came right back. Yeah. Well, that's good. So, so we fucked like that for a little bit. Then uh, we swapped back to our original partners. And, uh, you know, I ate your pussy for a little bit and he ate her pussy and then he sucked her. Or she sucked him. And then I fucked you for a little bit. Yeah, and Doggy then they, and yeah, then, they you finished. Know, he finished, and I don't finish, but I hardly ever finish anyway. Yeah, it takes you a while to, to come. So yeah. I assumed you probably wouldn't yeah. get off, especially with that, that pill. Yeah. Um, I know it takes you a little while. Yeah. But but yeah, so we um, yeah we, we wrapped it up, and yeah. it was already like 3.30, um, or like close to 3.30. And I remember it was about 2 o'clock when the other guy left, Yeah, and we were making a comment like, oh, it's bar time right now. Uh, we don't want to be on the roads. What can we do for an hour? You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely, definitely a fun. surprise. Yep. Uh, and I was proud of myself that my dick worked the whole time. <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad that, it. you know, the whole, I understand the mental thing to it. And I know that can be hard to overcome, especially yeah. if it's happened more than once. Yeah. Because then you're like really afraid of it happening, happening again. So, no, I'm glad no. that that tiny little pill is... Able to uh, help. Yeah. I, you know, I, I, I swear by it. You know, it's the generic uh, Viagra, but it's through Blue Chew. And, yeah, and it, we'll get that code for you guys. Yeah, definitely. I'll, awesome. Yeah, so we'll get that code out there. But, yeah, I you know, I I thought we all had a good time. You know, they seemed like they enjoyed it. And, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's always... It's always been very easy with them. It's never been weird or awkward, even hanging out with them afterwards, you know, like yeah. another time. Um, so it's always been really cool with them, you know, playing or yeah, whatever definitely. it may be, just hanging out. So, yeah, I've always enjoyed. Um, yeah, yeah, so, you know, they're really cool people. And, you know, it's definitely, you know, the option is there that, you know. If we're hanging out or whatever, one thing yeah, can they, link to another. Yeah. So, and we you may be fucking some other dude's wife. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, so I'm glad that we could be their couple. Then I guess mm-hmm. if they they were looking for a couple. Yeah, it, it's not like they were looking for a couple. I know on their honeymoon, actually, they uh, she had hooked up with a female, and. So, I mean, that right there tells you that they're open to stuff. Like, who hooks up with another couple on their honeymoon? Now, yeah, it wasn't like a full swap or anything. But, you know, that's opening the doors to, hey, you're kind of interested in this thing. So, over their relationship, it evolved into a full swap. And, you know, they did, yeah, make a comment a long time ago. Like, oh, you know, ideally that would be our fantasy, I guess. definitely. um, Just because they're both involved mm-hmm. with people yeah and not so like, yeah it's not like you know, you're standing back watching right even though you know i i do like to watch oh absolutely yeah i love to just watch and yeah so but some people are not necessarily like that yeah. Yeah, so. or may feel excluded or something but no it's never been like that yeah it's always a fun time yeah, so, so is our our, our ring in te- technically our first 
first experience, the experience of, 20, of 2022 22. since it happened after yeah. midnight. Yeah. So, you know, that's one way to ring in the new year. Absolutely. <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right, and uh, uh, just real quickly, they said they want to go to the hotel takeover. Yeah, we mentioned us. the um, hotel party we went to on Halloween and... Um, I know there's one coming up for in March. Yeah, so they said they'd be interested. So yeah, we'll see if we'll see if they want to want to go and can make it happen. Yeah, be, be a lot fun, of fun. Be fun to show them around with the the rest of the group. There. Yeah, definitely. Hey right, guys, so uh, that is our show for today. I think we ran over a little bit late, but I kind of figured that's what was going to happen. Since yeah, there's a we lot talk tied a lot. In, Sorry, you know, guys. There's a lot tied into that that experience with yeah. history and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Um, make sure to check us out on Full Swap Radio. Uh, we are on Mondays at 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. Central. Yep, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Central. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok at Bang Bang Pineapple Gang Pod. Yep. And if you want my OnlyFans link, uh, send us an email, bbpineappleg at yahoo.com, yep. and we'll send you the link. Yep. And uh, if you go to our link tree that's on our Instagram, uh, you can also find our Discord. Yep, that's correct. You can go correct. out and hang out with us on Discord. For sure. Uh, we have fun there. Like I said, over 6,000 people strong on there now. Yep. So, you know, we're blowing up, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we want to thank everyone for loving our podcast in 2021. Yeah, that's the, the birth of, uh, yeah, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang. Yeah, so we and, appreciate and everybody we listening. Look, we look forward to a very fun 2022 absolutely uh, we got more experiences in our back pocket and hopefully we have more experience new experiences uh yeah. to share with you guys absolutely hey guys uh, uh i am your sexy host i'm not sexy. you are sexy to me, uh, i'm your i'm your okay looking oh, host stop it. and i am your sexy as fuck host yeah. me yeah, no. you are. <laughs> 